the thermostat. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Probably one of the most dreaded places in the house. You're trying to figure out, uh, should I turn my heat on? Should I turn my air off? What's gonna minimize my electricity bill? All these things. If only there was a better way. Well, luckily, some animals have figured out there is in fact a better way, termites. And we're gonna learn all about termites in a building inspired by them. Heating and cooling buildings, houses, factories, etc. is a tremendous amount of cost, a tremendous amount of energy used, and results in the release of a lot of greenhouse gases and carbon dioxide into the environment. Let alone the fact that many refrigerants and coolants used are not very environmentally friendly either. So architects and builders have actually turned to termites in order to solve this problem. Termites build gigantic termite mounts that have tiny little surface holes all over them. These holes allow the venting of hot air to go out as long as well as some influx of cool air in. And the difference in temperature between the warm mass of termites living in the termite mound and the coolness of the mound underground versus the air up above causes convection currents as cold air coming in can sink and warm air rises out and goes out, exits out the top. So an architect named Mick Pierce back in the 90s was actually inspired by termites when he was commissioned to build the Eastgate Center in Zimbabwe. This is a building that it has made out of concrete and brick, two materials that can absorb a lot of heat, but not necessarily raise their temperature in response to the amount of heat they absorb. Um, in addition, this building has a very prickly surface and this large surface area on the outside of the building um, allows there to be additional heat loss at night, but not a lot of heat gain happen during the day. So without any power using to cool or heat this building, it stays at a nice, can get up to a nice 82 degrees during the day and about 57 degrees at night, which might still be a little cold or a little warm to many of us, but for the ambient air conditions outside in Zimbabwe, as well as not using any heating or electricity or cooling, that's pretty good just for a passively cooled system. So this building is actually using 35% less energy than surrounding buildings in Zimbabwe. And even if the power goes up, it can still heat and cool itself just fine. Isn't that amazing? And from, again, another kind of strange source, source termites, which have solved a heating and cooling problem that humans still try to solve. Because I feel like sometimes my thermostat doesn't always work the way it's supposed to. So I hope you enjoyed learning about how termites inspired architecture. Um, and we have one more installment in this little mini series on biomimicry, and that's gonna be all about elephants. So stay tuned for that this upcoming Friday. Like this video, go back and watch like the other biomimicry videos if you just landed here and are wondering what's going on. They're all about whales and slugs, so still some super cool animal inspiration. Subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram. Uh, I, I, I don't even know what to say. Uh, thank you all so much for watching this video and keep it sciencey.